I'm Radhika Khara. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and the clinical director at the Center for Survivors of Torture, also known as CSD. We provide a safe space and a hospitable environment where our clients can share all of their experiences. And currently, due to the pandemic, we're offering all of our services virtually. Um, part of what I do is to offer support to our clients, provide treatment for their mental health needs, connect them to other resources in the community, and most importantly, instill hope and facilitate healing from trauma. We provide services to children as well as adults and help them get acculturated in their new communities here in Austin. Um, from the interactions that I've had with clients of CSD, I can see that they face numerous challenges when they first get here. Um, they, refugees have to get accustomed to the new way of life in the U.S., adjust to the cultural differences, and in so many cases, learn a new language, as Luke was mentioning. They're navigating all these different systems while also possibly coping with past trauma and a lack of family and support system. And we notice that their mental health plays a huge role in the ability to cope with this change. So when we meet them in counseling, we can see that refugees might have gone a long time without adequate mental health support, making it difficult to adapt to their new and changed environments. There's also so many pressures on refugees. They have to start school, keep up with their class, um, look for a new job, provide for their families. And with timely mental health support, we can help overcome these obstacles. We've seen in counseling that refugees are able to identify their strengths. Um, and at CSD, I've been really fortunate to witness the many successes in our clients' lives owing to their own strengths and tremendous resilience. Um, we've had individuals that have graduated from high school and college, start their own business, work in the healthcare industry, and they're currently on the front lines of the pandemic, and many go on to get their American citizenship. So when we look at their journey as a whole from when they first arrived, it's truly incredible just how much they've overcome to achieve all of